everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be doing another video that I've wanted to do for a very long time now, a character analysis of Peril. She is my favorite Wings of Fire character of all time, so I'm very passionate when it comes to talking about her. Keep in mind that this video contains some major spoilers for the Dagonet Prophecy and Escaping Peril, so please click off the video if you haven't read those books. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. I think it's safe to say that Peril has had a miserable life. But there's more tragedy that lies beneath the surface of what she's willing to show to other dragons. Pearl is still recovering from the way Scarlet treated her, and I don't think she'll fully ever recover from the trauma. Pearl and Skye were born to Kestrel in 5000 AS, but they weren't like any normal two Dragonite twins. Skye was born with too little fire, and Pearl was born with too much fire. Most of you know how the story goes, in which Queen Scarlet told Kestrel to kill one of her children and keep the other. She chose to keep Peril alive because she was worried about raising a dragon out without much fire, so she tossed Skye into the river. But after she did so, Scarlet went back in her own command and told her to kill Peril as well. Kestrel refused to kill another dragonet and tried taking off with Peril in order to escape Scarlet's fury. But in doing so, she got massively burned on her claws and couldn't even hold her own dragonet. Her scales were too full of fire to the point where she would burn anything and anyone she touched. Kestrel was forced to leave Peril behind with Scarlet, and that's where Peril's awful life truly began. Scarlet lied to Peril her entire life just to keep her in her claws. She even told Peril that she had to eat black rocks every day in order to survive with having too much fire, and claimed that she was the only one who could supply them. So even if Peril would have considered running away, she would have felt like she couldn't. In fact, Scarlet even poisoned Peril when she was a younger dragonette and tried not to eat them, which caused her to genuinely believe that she needed the black rocks to survive. If that already doesn't sound bad enough, there's more. At the end of the prologue of Escaping Peril, Scarlet forced Peril to burn dragonettes inside their eggs before she could even properly speak. She was being exposed to violence and already began killing dragons against her will just because she was instructed to. Growing up with such a violent adopted mother slash queen that ruled over her was enough to twist her views on life. For a good majority of it, Scarlet had Peril be her champion in her arena, where she would kill dragons just for her own enjoyment. Peril soon grew used to it, and that's the sad part. All she was used to was just killing dragons, and only had mostly bad influences in her life. All this trauma just absolutely broke Peril. The one person in her life who she thought saved her from death and supported her for she was, a natural-born killer, was one of the worst dragons of Pyra. Having Scarlet as the one to raise her ruined her enough, but things would only get worse. The day she met Clay, whom she thought was just like her, in the sense that they were both killers, felt sympathy for her. Clay almost always saw the best in peril, even when she followed the wrong path. Having a dragon genuinely care for her was something she had never experienced before, but this caused her to have attachment issues to him. She even warned Scarlet of the dragonettes trying to leave the, her palace just because she wanted Clay to stay with her longer. Peril didn't want to lose the one dragon who really cared for her, because deep down she didn't like Scarlet as much as she claimed to. But she felt tied to Scarlet because of the thoughts like, she raised me, or she cared for me when nobody else did. Pearl battled with the thoughts of thinking if it was because she loved her or just wanted to use her, and the sad truth is that it was just because Scarlet wanted to have a deadly ally. She molded Pearl's personality so much to the point where it was nearly impossible for her to figure out who she truly was without killing other dragons. She thought it was the only thing she was good for, and felt like she had to do it in order to get attention from Scarlet. Pearl's attachment towards Clay even goes so far to the point where all she thinks about is him. She constantly thinks, but what would Clay do for almost every decision she makes? Because he really was her only good influence. She yearned for someone to love her, and she knew that Clay did, and thus she didn't leave him alone at times. He didn't fear her, and no matter what Peril really claimed, she wished for a dragon that she could touch, and didn't find her as someone to fear. Even when Peril stopped fighting in the arena, she couldn't shake off the fear and distrust other dragons associated with her. Even Ruby was hesitant to get close to her after witnessing the horrific things she had done. Certainly other Skywings thought of her as a traitor or even a monster for a time in the arena and her attachment to Scarlet. Because, sadly, Peril still felt like she had to impress Scarlet. Even after everything she had done to her, Peril refused to fully tell herself that Scarlet was the one in the wrong. But thankfully, Peril's story doesn't end with complete misery. Escaping Peril is my favorite Wings of Fire book, and for good reason. Pearl finally found out how to love Clay in a way that wouldn't make her so attached to him. She finally began to think for herself, rather than wonder what Clay or Scarlet would have done. Even though she'll never fully be forgiven for a path by other dragons, she has some loved ones now. 
From resolving things with Ruby and finding a friend in Turtle, Peril is finally starting to understand what life is like without being forced to not think for herself. I'm happy to say that, even though the recovery process is a bit rocky, Peril has improved drastically from when we first saw her. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think about Peril? Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.